Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to take apart this Nikon um, 28mm E-Series lens and fix the sticky um, focus ring. This was sticky before I started, but I played around with it a little bit um, earlier. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Here we go. Okay, so this is where your problem lies. Right in here. This ring right here. Okay. So what you're gonna what is you wanna do? You wanna take this ring all the way out. When you you wanna use some kind of solvent or some type of um or some kind of liquid lubricant. You wanna first clean it. Clean it off really good. I'm um, coming here. I've already used this one earlier to clean it. This is basically just going back over it. Clean that off, that surface, and then clean this mating surface off. Clean that off really good and lubricate it. This is where, this is what's most important right here. Okay, and then you put it back in. And the thing about putting it back in, you want to you want to be very gentle with getting them threads to go back in, just right. If you're forcing it, you're breaking something. Okay. There's a technique, I'll show you how to do threads here in a minute, that I like to do. So the thing you want to do here is this, this surface, you want to be flat with this surface right here. This surface needs to be flat with here. Okay, and what I mean by that is you want this edge, okay, right here to be flat right here. So we got to take this thing out a little bit. Okay. Well, it's a little tight. Cause see this, this is gonna ride right in here, like that. Okay. So, and this is gonna be wherever you set this is gonna determine how tight your your um, infinity. Um, ring is so you can keep taking that out a little bit okay so I got we got a little bit of a gap right there That'll be good for me. Okay, so now that you got that set. Okay, now you can start putting this all back together. You want this on infinity. Make sure you take this and try to keep this ring always on infinity. Okay, so this is working good. She's nice and fluid. She should be able to spin really easy like that. That's how you know you got it right. Okay, now this is the complicated part. This is where it takes some playing around with because now you have to get this, these elements to line up when you're on infinity. So you're on infinity and you'll notice here, you're probably wondering why I didn't mark it. 
in the beginning to show you. And the reason why is because I wanted to, uh, so most people might not, so if you didn't mark it, I want you to understand how to fix this after the fact. So now what we're doing, okay, so right there, actually this isn't, this isn't too far off. So right there would be perfect. So because we want these to be able to drop in there. So you see how we're, we're a little bit of a turn off? So we need to actually come forward a little bit. So what I'm going to do, keep this in infinity, grip that, start the spin, and so you'll spin this until you hear it, you'll, you'll push, you got to put pressure on the tip of the lens, okay? And you'll hear a pop. And that means you just jumped out of the threads of another ring and you're jumping into another set of thread. And you wanna go real slow. Okay, and then you hear the pop. And you wanna try to do everything you can not to lose that, that position and then roll it back in really gently okay and you see how see how close we are now oh wait oops oh we took it way too far okay so we took it too far we we're actually right in the right position <laughs> earlier so that's a uh, better for us cuz now I get to show you how to go back so now you take it all the way out Okay, that means we jumped, so move it forward a little bit. And then go until you get another ring. And then see where you're stationed. Okay. And actually, I might have just... Yeah, it's a not, not quite far enough. Because see, we're on infinity, and we're too far. We're not lined up. If you have to move it in this direction so you're losing being able to hit your infinity so we gotta take it out just a little bit more we went far enough so now we gotta go until we hear a pop okay there we go now we're in the new set of threads okay so that's good okay all right, so let's try going forward one thread. Okay, there, yeah, there we go, there we go. So we're all set. So it'll go a little bit f further past. Okay, so then we can slide these bad boys back in, put those in, alrighty, so we got it all sorted out. We got the zero to infinity. We got a little bit of a gap right here so it doesn't hit so hard. Um, before, the way I had it adjusted, it was a little tight right here on the back end. So I gave a little bit of a gap, as you can see right there, so that our, our infinity, is no, it's nice and loose. Okay, so next, we gotta throw in this bad boy. And remember, if you have to force it, you broke something. It's not going in right. Don't keep trying it. it everything has got to slide together nice and smooth with this. Or it's not right. Okay, so you can see our aperture is closed all the way. So put that all the way on 22 because our aperture is closed. Okay. Now you'll see this pin, this uh, little spot right here for the pin, that's for this pin right here. And see the other thing I want you to understand 
is that <clears throat> if this this middle lens part of the cylinder if it's too far away like for instance if this this silver ring is pushed too far out this aperture thing will lose lose the edge of the when you're at your furthest focal your your well the, like your closest focal length or your well when it comes to um, a, or, um focus okay so now we got this and put this all back okay 22 and then what we're gonna do we're gonna take our eye look down in there make sure we get that pen on there all right and there we go all righty that's how you fix the focus ring on a 28 millimeter nikon lens